Hey there guys, this is Sam. And Justin. At the Survival Review. And uh, today we're going to be talking about some... Uh, we're going to be talking about Star Trek Into Darkness. Yes. But uh, get into some spoilers, because... That's the whole video, it's just spoilers. Yeah, he made, he made a video reviewing it. You should check that out. Right. And before we get started, if you like want to know, what's your opinion on the movie? I loved it. Spoiler free. The, the spoiler free, I loved it. it, it it's that simple. <laughs> Basically that. It, yeah. That, it's... That's... Just plain awesome. It's that good. So, yeah. well, now, now that that's over, now, now we're, we're gonna getting get into spoilers. Into spoilers. Um, well, let's, let's get started. So let's get into spoilers. Khan! Khan's not in the movie. Um. No, no, he's not in the movie. Uh, the <laughs> no. So, the, so the biggest rumor. <laughs> the biggest rumor about the movie, Khan being in it, is true if you haven't seen the movie. Why are you watching this part of the video? <laughs> yeah, he is Khan. Um, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, the, the actor. And which plays is Khan. Just, just... You know, when, when I... Uh, both of us agree on this, we didn't want Khan to be yeah, in the movie. Yeah, going in, that was the biggest rumor of all. And every time I read about it, like if you ask anybody I've talked to, who's talking to you before I saw Star Trek, I was always like, don't do Khan. Don't do Khan. It's, it's so it's, unnecessary. It it's is. pointless. What's the point? I'm gonna hate this movie. Yeah, and, and then we watched it, and Khan showed up, and we were like, "That was really good." <laughs> Damn, they they pulled they it really, off. They did. They played it off really, really, really yes. well. And, the actor um, who plays Khan was awesome. He was fantastic. What's his name? Do you ben know? Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, you you played, are the only person who can remember that. No, I feel like he he played uh he plays Sherlock on the Sherlock Holmes on the Sherlock BBC series, which is pretty popular. That's, okay, that's okay. why I've known. That's why I've known. That's why I've heard him from. I never saw. He's him, got an interesting name. Yes. Um, so, and he's not Hispanic like Ricardo Montalban in Star Trek. But you know what? We can look past that. Yeah. And um, I like the way they they use the storyline because first appearance of Khan was in the episode Space Seed, and the way they played is that in the episode Space Seed, uh, Enterprise finds the ship that has Khan on it and all the people. And then now this timeline it got changed, and now Robocop, I'm just calling him Robocop. <laughs> You're just going to call him Robocop. Robocop found him, and that's why it's different. And I thought that was actually really well done. I uh, really yeah, I think, I think it was. It and, makes uh, sense, actually, like how Khan's happening. Like, yeah. yeah. It's not just like random. It, it is, but it's done better. <laughs> and, and I... What else to talk about? Like Robocop as the bad guy was. Yeah, weird. he was. That's um, kind of the twist. He starts out, you don't think he's, he's gonna do much. He's no. just in the beginning. And also in Boom, he's the bad guy. Yeah, like, he, he's turned into this this bad guy and he played him really well. The only thing I kinda felt bad is that he had to die so he couldn't he couldn't come back. But I yeah. kinda made me sad. But besides that, um, uh, but they he was good. He it was, was awesome. it was really good. I I liked it a lot. By the way, we're talking about the actor Peter Weller. He plays but, Robocop. But in he's the movie Robocop. Robocop. He is Robocop, but he's in this movie. And <laughs> Um, uh, that's another thing I really liked. That shows how good, like, the writing is in these movies. The character of Pike, the first captain of the Enterprise, was never really that developed of a character. You know, yeah. but, but when he died, that was actually really sad. <laughs> yeah, it was. When he died, they killed him, I'm like, oh, oh man. And then, then, like, when Kirk started crying, I'm like, oh, crap, this is really we, sad. We were just like, <laughs> I'm like, damn. Or we're only, like, half hour into the movie. <laughs> What's next? No, <laughs> that was that was no, a really good scene too. One thing I would scene. like to mention, and this isn't a spoiler, but uh, uh, the three D, uh, it was really underwhelming for me. There were just three, there were there, good the, moments. There were, in fact, I think the best moments were in the first scene. Yes, in Spock's in the, the first volcano. scene, and I think they did that on purpose, <laughs> just, just because really they win. they released that as a, yes. in trailers. So what movie did we see it in? Hobbit. Yeah, before we saw The Hobbit, they played that. That first 10 minutes scene. The first 10 minute scene in that. And it was that awesome. Was amazing. We were like, this 3D is going to be amazing in this movie. And then yeah. after that scene, <laughs> after that scene it yeah. was really, you didn't even the know stuff you were at watching the 3D end movie most, most of the time. Some of the buildings in the foreground on Earth, yeah. that works, but like, most beginning of the movie, and end, that's it though. Most of the movie, I actually forgot we were watching a 3D movie until and I was it like, oh crap, I've got gigantic glasses on my face. Whenever they went to warp, that was kind of, yeah. that. Which they kind of changed them. The original in the first movie, it just went boom. They're gone. This kind of added like the end trails, which is yeah, great job. Kind of fits with the original Star Trek, which is a little cool. It did. Um, I like how every character gets their moment. Yeah. Like even though they don't have as much screen time to do stuff, they still have their moments. Like Chekhov, Chekhov who, who gets who gets promoted to like engineer, so he doesn't really so you don't see him because he's just in, he's in engineering the whole movie. But then he has those moments where like. Where they're hanging off and Scotty falls and then like Kirk starts to fall and he grabs him. Yeah. And like he had their, all their moments. Yeah, and I absolutely love 
just like the first movie, I 100% love Simon Pegg in this yes, movie. Yeah, he gets so Scotty. much more to do in here. Yeah, he good. does. And he was fantastic in it. And really funny. A lot of the, the comedic moments of the movie yes. were him just being, doing what <laughs> yeah. Simon Pegg does yeah. playing Scotty. And Beagle. I'm Chekhov for a second, just for a second yeah. there. Yeah. I'm the only one that kind of felt like, because this is like into darkness, so anything can happen. When he put on a red shirt, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, like, I was afraid they, they had him put on a red shirt. I'm and like, in the oh, trailers, oh. you never saw him in the trailer. <laughs> so I'm like, oh crap. We, we, no, that's I, I, I was thinking that too, done. but Check luckily, off. luckily, nothing happened to Chekhov. Yeah, he, he's good. You can't yeah. kill him. All. And then one of the things that a lot of people were kind of complaining about, and I understand, is the third act of the movie does a lot of Wrath of Khan. You know? And it does it in reverse, where like a kid, they kill Kirk instead of Spock. Yeah. And I understand the problem with that, because it wasn't really necessary. And the whole um, Kirk's death scene, I wasn't too emotionally involved, because I'm like, he's no. Kirk, he's not going to die. Exactly. It was very predictable that and he's obviously not going to die. It's yeah. Kirk. The only part that kind of got can't. to me is when uh, Spock shed a tear. Now I'm like, okay, that's a that little did, emotional. That was. <laughs> and I, I honestly yeah. was not expecting that, but... No. But that scene, it, it was really it was well predictable. Done. When, well, after that, uh, I was thinking for a minute, I'm like, okay, so how are they going to bring him back? And then I saw a, some... Are they going to pull a search for Spock and have the next movie called The Search for Kirk? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just remake every movie now for now. <laughs> exactly. And, but, uh, yeah, the way they brought him back, I thought that was really well done. Yeah, and then again, it kind of raises questions, like... You have something, like, you people can't die now, right? I mean, you can bring people back from the dead, are they going to, or are they going to, like... Talk about that in the sequel, and yeah, I mean, because hmm. you think about it, like it's people true. can't die now, <laughs> like because they just use Khan's blood. And yeah, until Khan runs out of blood, you know, <laughs> people can't really die. I hope they address it. That's kind of a big thing. Um, I don't think they're gonna. Probably not. No, <laughs> I doubt it. But that would be interesting. And but, then right after Kirk dies, Spock does the Khan <laughs> scream, and what do you think of that? I loved it. I don't know. I think it. I I just I I couldn't help. Yeah, it's it it's was laughable. it was laughable. But, but like when I was in the theater, I couldn't help but smile. Yeah, I smiled at it too. But just it, the thing is that that whole line, you know, little kind of yelling con, it's kind of become a joke now. You know yeah. I mean? So I think I, I it wouldn't didn't fit as well because even though I wasn't into it, that scene was still really emotional. It was. <laughs> you know, and then and, you kind of yelled con, and a lot of people started laughing at that. Oh yeah. I, I, it was funny, but it, I couldn't I thought help. it was okay. I asked him out. I, have, I mildly enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. I, 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 I really liked though. it. Some people might not like that, but I, I personally found it good. I'd rather it be in the movie than not. Yeah, actually, I don't know about you, but I was expecting the way they're going to do it. Well, I was thinking they might have done it as like a joke. And it was that scene where they, uh, Kirk and Khan uh, beam aboard Robocop's ship. And I thought, like, remember they kept like losing him? I thought it was going to be like, where's Khan? Khan! And I yelled for him. That's like, kind of like a joke. That would have been. I was expecting that, but I'm like, yeah, they, they didn't do that. But I was expecting something like that because I like, kept losing him. And they're just like, you know, where's Khan? That would have been funny. I would have like, yelled at him. But Actually, I think that would have been even better. That would have been funny. <laughs> it definitely would have worked. Um, another thing that I actually found kind of surprising is that I always watch, the, I watch those trailers a bajillion times. <laughs> and the scene where they're crashing down to Earth. It really feels like the, the Enterprise crash on the Earth. It feels like the final like action set piece. Yeah. But from seeing the trailers, I knew there's that whole like Spock chasing Khan in the uh, the like city or whatever. And I wish I was thinking about that. I'm like, that's gonna be really un un unnecessary. I mean, this is perfect. And they still pulled it off. I was yeah, still like, yeah, that did. Like, it, it felt like it would have been like just an added third act, added third act action scene that you don't need because you just have the biggest scene ever. Exactly. And it it, it worked. It was cool. A little goofy, like Spock was like jumping really large heights. And that was a little goofy, but for the most part, that I was surprised. I liked that. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, and I uh, thought like yeah. Also, they made the Klingons awesome. I guess. Yes, <laughs> they did. Yeah, um, like that with those like suits and everything. Yeah. That was just sweet. It they made them intimidating and awesome. They they were definitely like frightening. Yes, looking. I hope they do more with Klingons. Yeah, than those. hopefully they probably. They, I, I'm sure they'll they're have Klingons. I mean. Yeah. Every Star Trek movie had like a Klingon in it doing something. Yeah. Except Star Trek 2. I actually think that was the only one that didn't have Klingons. Um, really? And, and 4. Yeah. Of the original movies, not counting Next Generation. But that, Star Trek, they, they, I'm still surprised at how well they did it. 
Like that, I, I, I had high hopes. I didn't think they yeah, were going to. Yeah, I had okay hopes. I was expecting it to be pretty good. And it. I personally actually enjoyed this movie more than just Star Trek, the other reboot. Uh, um, my analysis kind of is, like, I said this in my review. I just reiterated a little bit. The two films, it kind of feels like A New Hope and uh, Empire Strikes Back. Whereas Empire Strikes Back is clearly the superior film. Much more, you know, like, there's much more complex, much more stuff going on. But I still kind of have to like A New Hope a little bit better because it's a little more classic. And that's what I might be saying about Star Trek. And well, I love them both. I love both movies. That's, that's the funny thing is because that's how I feel about Star yeah, Wars. Yeah. I do like A New Hope better, but now we're talking about Star Wars but and I, Star Trek well, review. It's kind of close. But um, I, I do feel differently. I do kind of like this one. I don't, it's, I, it was really hard to like um, one of the like, like comments. Uh, Scorpion Slayer sixty six. That's him, my and man. He, yes, and one of his comments, he mentioned how like there's a lot of like a lot of the bad things in Star Trek are really good in Into Darkness. Yeah, and some of the good things in Star Trek are a little bit better than Into Darkness. And I kind of see like that. Like the villain is very one dimensional in the original, and in this one, Khan is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> and it's stuff absolutely like that. true. And I, I kind of agree with him. It's like there's a lot of like differences, a lot of like different mm -hmm. qual different con pros and cons. Very good point, Jared. <laughs> it, he doesn't know your name. Sorry. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's kind of like that movie where it's like that, and kind of on Star Tra uh, Star Wars a little bit. Next movie for J.J. Abrams is Star Wars. Yeah, and that's just what I am excited. I, I am like, so excited. No, I'm I'm not even. I'm still pissed off about it. That don't get me started but, on Star Wars. Like there's like there's a one scene in this movie where they're on uh, the Klingon planet. And I forgot what it was called, but yeah, I'm a Star Trek fan here. I forgot, I forgot the Klingon planet. You won't watch the movie. I'm like. And they find, like, he's on the planet where we can't go. I'm like, oh, Klingon. No, that's not the planet. Um, <laughs> but when they're on there, there's a chase scene between, like, a uh, Klingon ship and this, like, little ship, like, on a yeah. Hawaii ship. And it felt like Star Wars. They were, like, going through corridors. And I mean, that, that, that was, like, that felt just like Star it did. Wars. And I'm like, yeah, the series is in good hands. Because, like, like I said, Abrams is so good at moving the camera. Yeah. And, which is something that Lucas could not do in the prequels. <laughs> and... So that's why I love his action scenes are so intense. Yeah. Um, and just so well done. Like that movie, Into Darkness is like an adrenaline rush. Stop trying to convince me to like the idea of Star Wars. <laughs> I, I'm really excited for it because J.J. Abrams is involved. I really want to excited I suppose when I heard about it. Since J.J. Abrams is involved, yes, that's cool. And my only the problem writer, with that. And it has some good writers, I'll admit. Yeah. Um, my only problem with that is that J.J. Abrams might not come back for Star Trek 3, you know? Oh, well, really? He might. I don't, well, it depends. Like I did not know that. And I don't know. It's, you have no idea. I don't know. Like, they want Star Wars to be out in 2015. That's, you never know. And if that is true, I'm going to be disappointed. But Because he does, he does such a good job. It keeps like the essence of the original series in there. Yeah, yeah it's not the same. It's no. really not the same because it's so action. It, but, so, like, but like it keeps with the characters. Also, speaking of characters, Carl Urban as uh, McCoy... As Bones McCoy, just, ah, the, yeah. the world needs more Carl Urban. <laughs> um, he was Judge Dredd and Dredd, and yeah, he, yeah, he's great. He has some awesome moments, like in the scene where he's um, kind of like he's like flirting a little bit with the uh, chick with the Robocop's daughter, and yeah. um, that scene was hilarious. It was. He's talking about like giving a C-section to a Gorn, and he's like, "What the heck?" <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so hilarious. He, he's it's, great. It's good. And Bo um, Bones has always been my favorite character in Star Trek. Really? I don't know, I just always liked him as a character, and he's great in the movie. Uh, just, that's just so awesome. Also, there's some good references to the series. Mm -hmm. uh, the Tribble at the end that, they, that he cures. Yeah. That was cool. And also, one, I don't know if you got, you got it, but the scene where, I don't like call it the Robocop's daughter stripping scene. You know that one? Yeah. <laughs> That's practically what it is. I don't know what to, uh, what to call it. I don't know what they were exactly doing. But um, <laughs> uh, there's that scene where they're talking, and he and uh, she mentions uh, yeah, Christine yeah. Chapel, who was the nurse in the original series. Exactly. And actually was referenced in the first movie. Oh, she was? He says, like, uh, yeah, they're on the ship, and you hear, um, and Bones is like, you know, Nurse Chapel gave me something, 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 and you hear voice off camera go like, yes, sir. But she's never been in the movie, so I thought that was, that was a cool reference to that. Yeah. And, well, I don't know if you got it, but throughout the movie... Um, Sulu is like kind of like acting captain at some points, mm -hmm. and in the later movies, Sulu gets his own ship. So that's kind of a reference to that. Where like at the end, he's like, the chair like feels pretty good, you know, and so like that being called Captain Sulu and stuff like that. 
So I got that. At first I didn't get it. I'm like, I thought about it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's actually a pretty cool reference. Also, what I was saying is that everybody gets something new to do. That's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which makes it more like more fresh. The movie does not feel like any parts don't ever feel like a retread of the first. It feels like like Empire Strikes Back. It feels like a totally new thing. Exactly. I have to say, I have to do that. It's like that's like the, one of the prime examples of the sequel. Some people would call that blasphemy, comparing, uh, bringing yeah, Star Wars into a Star Trek movie. I'm not comparing movie. plot wise because you can easily do that with the first Star Trek movie and the and the Star Wars movies. But um, like I said, Chekhov is engineering. Um, uh, Scotty like is on um, Robocop's ship doing stuff. Yeah. And like all this stuff, it's different things. And like you actually, um, Ahura actually gets to like practice as she gets to use her like knowledge of knowing other languages yeah. that's what's so awesome it, it, it just it just brought everything that the first movie did well and made it even it better expanded upon it yeah. it, it was just Definitely. awesome um like going into it the whole con thing uh when they when they revealed who he was that scene was like my name is Khan. i figured it out when he was explaining everything I don't know if you would have, I don't know if you've seen the actual episode, Space Seed. I have not. Well, and I, I understood it, because, like, talking about all these other people and how he's, like, a genetically, like, altered person. And I'm like, uh, yeah, that's, that's Khan. And he goes, my name is, I'm like, here we go, Khan. And I'm like, all right, going to hate the rest of this thing. <laughs> you know? that's, that's how he felt, and I was yeah. feeling kind of similar. Oh, yeah. uh, until, like, it, the movie progressed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got used to it, and you were like, this is yeah. fantastic. They're actually doing a good job with this. Yeah, and like I said, whereas the whole, like, Death of Kirk thing kind of felt a little unnecessary. Because the story is, like, a combination of Space Seed and Wrath of Khan. With, like, sad, it kind of makes it kind of feel kind of bad. The most iconic moments from Wrath of Khan being imitated in yeah. this one. That's why some people are mostly angry at it. Yeah. I understand why. Like, it kind of, it does kind of retry, especially because it's the greatest Star Trek movie. Yeah. You know, I said I liked Four Open better in my other video, but either way, um, it is, and it kind of, that's what felt Honestly, little... Four is probably my favorite, so. Yeah, Four is awesome. Like, they, I'm, I'm so surprised, and I'm like, yeah, they did kind of, and it was awesome. Like, I, I felt like I was going to be so pissed off at that, because it's unnecessary, but the actor playing Khan, awesome. And thinking, the fact that they, he doesn't die at the end. Yeah. So they're they are very very well yeah. could be. I'm some wondering more if they're doing something like too. this is like the, their whole like Wrath of Khan homage movie, and then later on they bring back Khan for a totally like original Khan story. That could maybe be like awesome. they were waiting for that. That's what, it could be. I'm not sure. If that is true though. They better pay me some money for that because that's my idea. That's yeah, <laughs> <that's> his idea. <laughs> Justin but, has the rights. Yeah, there you go. I have the rights to Khan. <laughs> yeah, um, but as I'm thinking, that could happen. Uh, that would be cool if they did though. Yeah, make it, and then you can have him like getting his revenge on Kirk, kind of like Wrath of Khan, but like go a whole original route. But yeah, it's, it's just, not a bad idea. Yeah. Make some, make some cash on it. Yeah. <laughs> so I checked three will be Klingons and four will be the new new Khan. Yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna go talk to. I'm gonna call call, call Paramount right now <laughs> and uh, tell them that I call JJ Abrams. Just <laughs> dial one eight hundred Paramount. How's <laughs> it going, go. JJ? <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, I got a question for you. I question the demand. Um, but yeah, that's Star Trek Into Darkness. Yeah, fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it, why'd you watch this video? Why'd you watch the go video? ahead. Still go see it. Like, exactly. It go works. and watch it. It's so good. Both this and the um, reboot both work as like standalone movies. They do. You don't even. I I think that a lot of people who aren't Star Trek fans would still love these movies because yes. they're great movies they're on great their own. Movies anyway. on their own. They don't re like, they don't heavily re re exactly. rely. Exactly. It's the kind of There's movie that you can. It's but the kind of movie that you could both love if you're a huge yeah. Star Trek fan or if you're just yeah. a casual fan. Like, I'm not a huge Star Trek fan. I'm more of a casual Star Trek fan. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it, even if you're not a Star Trek fan at all, I see it with my family, mm -hmm. and uh, they like it too. Yeah, it's, it's, such a, <laughs> it's a really good movie. Like, like, all the references are done. They're not, like, plot rewind. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the plot doesn't re rely on you knowing the stuff. It may, like may make it a little bit funner if you do like, for the fans, but it doesn't rely on that. Yeah. It's not like like when he was working on the Tribble, it's not like you had to know about the Tribbles. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, I get it. It's like it, If you're watching this person, you'd be like, oh, oh, that's a weird creature. As a fan, you're like, I get it, it's a Tribble. But like, it's, it's stuff like that. It works perfectly for now Star Trek fans and Star Trek fans. Both movies are just awesome. Exactly. <laughs> awesome. So. I want to see them. Like, I want to see it again. <laughs> go and see it. And uh, Again, if you, exactly. if you haven't already. Um, Give it its money, because it actually kind of, it, it made money, but it kind of underperformed, actually, yeah. opening weekend. So, 
Yeah, there's my seated IMAX 3D. I mean, yeah, I said 3D was underwhelming, but the IMAX shots. The are IMAX awesome. are fan. Uh, the IMAX was really well done. Yes, it was the shot 3D, in the IMAX. So. The 3D, not so much, in my opinion. Yeah, the 3D, it, like I said, it had moments at the beginning and end. Yeah, especially with like the the javelin thing coming toward the yeah, screen. Yeah, that, that was, was cool. awesome. Yes, awesome. Um, but yeah, other than that. Also, uh, sorry, one thing. I guess it's just cool whenever the Enterprise crashes. Yeah, whenever that, happens, is, whenever that happens in a Star Trek movie, it's awesome. It is. Even though this one doesn't really crash, it, it survives. That was a little surprising, that shit crashing on Earth in the trailer was actually cons. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that. Because well, when, they, when they went, when they, like, st uh, stabilized everything, I'm like, wait, it's not crashing. <laughs> wait a second. But, essentially, that, that, that's, like, the best scene in the movie. Among many great scenes. Among many. And so, just, just to see it, I mean. Third time, see it. <laughs> um, and that's, I think, everything we've got to say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, we're so, probably, I'll probably think of more later around and be like, yeah. shoot! But, uh, you know, exactly. it happens. So, tell every video of it. So, uh, we'll talk to you guys later. This is Sam. And Justin. At the Survival Review.